power is finite, so it is important that the Energy Department monitors energy-intensive sectors. But what are these establishments that are consuming more power than others? And how does the DOE manage them? Republic Act No. 11285 or the Energy Efficiency and Conservation Act aims to institutionalize the efficient and judicious utilization of energy as a national way of life through various plans and programs, promotes and encourages the development and use of energy-efficient and renewable energy technologies and systems, provides for a comprehensive and market-driven approach to energy efficiency, conservation, sufficiency, and sustainability. Its salient features include fiscal incentives for DOE-certified energy efficiency projects, which may include income tax holiday, duty-free importation of capital equipment, or those provided under the CREATE Act, non-fiscal incentives which offer awards for energy efficiency best practices, projects, products, and technical assistance. Annual energy consumption determines the classification of designated establishments or in the energy intensive sector. The present classification of designated establishments starts with annual energy consumption, comprising of both electricity and fuel, other with at least 100,000 kilowatt hour equivalent to 500,000 kilowatt hour equivalent. Type 1, above 500,000 kilowatt hour equivalent to 4 million kilowatt hour equivalent. Type 2, above 4 million kilowatt hour equivalent. Business can benefit with reduced energy costs in implementing energy efficiency projects. Designated establishments can pursue opportunities on energy audits, energy management system, energy efficiency projects and measures, building management systems and technologies, building cooling enhancements and improvements. Submission of annual energy consumption and annual energy utilization reports can be made through your certified energy conservation officers and certified energy managers as well as their focal persons at the designated establishment website at be.doe.gov.ph. With the help of these designated establishments, DOE can come up with better ways in implementing policies on energy efficiency and conservation. If you don't have the numbers to back you up, then you won't be able to make a good plan. This saying also goes for energy efficiency. For energy efficiency efforts, the Energy Consumption Survey for Commercial Buildings in Metro Manila is extremely vital. The Energy Consumption Survey for Commercial Building is a market study focused on those established offices and retail buildings in the country with the objective to find out their existing energy use intensity and performance, identify gaps, issues, and challenges given the established energy efficiency conservation rules and regulation towards a sustainable energy management program in the country. Target respondents were approximately 200 selected establishments and we had close to 50% response rate. The survey will also provide the basis and reference towards establishment of the minimum energy performance standard in the commercial sector soon. In conducting this survey, we had encountered several challenges in the areas, namely data quality, level of responsiveness, and availability of the necessary data to support the survey objectives. Some have different definitions and sources of data, inadequate data sources, or simply lack of monitoring tool or system. This was further aggravated by the respondent's lack of knowledge or competencies on energy management as a discipline and strategic tool to improve their company's energy security and productivity. In this survey, we learned a lot. We need to educate or train the designated establishments or DE 
on the proper data definition, gathering plan, monitoring, recording, collection, and establishment of their energy performance measurements. If only these commercial establishments will simply adopt an energy management system and program in their respective company, their cost for energy is going to be much lower, which translates to more income. Likewise, at the national level, since we are more efficient, this will mean reliance to lesser importation of energy fuel like coal, natural gas, or, or even oil will be much lower. This translates to a much lower energy usage intensity. For Meralco, DOE is our partner in trying to promote, advocate energy efficiency in this country. on deck when operating a factory. But where do these energy-intensive facilities stand on the energy consumption survey of industrial factories? The energy consumption survey for industrial factories is guided by the Energy Research Institute for ASEAN and East Asia and the Department of Energy. The objective of the survey is to prepare benchmarks to indicate the current level of energy efficiency in the Philippines. These are energy efficiency indicators focused on industrial factories. There are four sectors included in the survey. The cement, sugar, food, and beverage sectors. We measured their energy use intensity or the amount of energy per unit of output. This includes electricity and fuel use. AMD Technologies Philippines is a manufacturing company for automotive relays. So we produce and manufacture automotive relays for our customers, not only in Asia, but all throughout the world. As the maintenance department manager, I am responsible for ensuring the availability of our machines whenever these are needed to be operated and maintaining the optimum condition of using the minimum resources possible. Our department maintains and improves the running condition of not only the machines used to produce our products, which are the electromechanical relays, but also the machines that supply the utilities such as compressed air and uh, chilled water that are necessary for these production machines to operate as well. And one of the most important activities is the energy consumption reduction. So we narrowed and identified these significant energy users to our compressed air system and the chilled water system of the plant. My position as the department manager allowed me to recommend, decide, and implement key activities that focus on the balance of energy consumption for these SEUs to the minimum requirement of the production machine and room occupants. So every half of the fiscal year, I prepare and issue the company's energy reduction plan based on our energy baseline, energy performance indicator, and uh, target energy reduction. The results of the energy reduction plan are also issued every half of the fiscal year. I am motivated to continue doing my role, knowing my job results in a reduction of energy, resulting in lesser carbon dioxide emission, which would eventually uh, result in a more sustainable future for the younger generation. The ISO 50001 Energy Management System is the international standard to attain energy savings. It gives us energy efficient design, energy use analysis, establishing energy performance indicators, and operational control. You cannot manage what you do not measure is a key principle in energy management. It's all about reducing energy cost in every establishment. Electric Vehicles Development Act 
or Evita, was signed into law this year. How does the law advance the use of electric vehicles while making transportation energy efficient? Payag ako para hindi na kami mga masyadong makutubo sa diesel kasi mahal nga ang diesel ngayon eh. Kami naman kahit anong ibiyahe namin pwede basta tumatakbo sa sakyan. Hati pa rin yung opinion ko tungkol dyan eh kasi pagka kasi pinalitan mas maraming mawawalan ng hanap buhay. Meron dyan mga jeep na halos 20 years nang tumatakbo pero maganda pa rin naman. Kaya nasa pag-aalaga pa rin yan ng operator. Marami naman pong sasangayon kung mas mababa talaga yung ibabayad. Kasi yung sa iba po kasi kaya hindi sila sumasangayon dahil nga po gawa nga po ng ang lalaki po ng kailangan ni Baya doon sa ano, katulad na lang po nung iba. Mas okay siya kasi hindi na magiging polluted yung mundo na. Masyado na kasi tayong polluted eh. Tumaga, tangali, hapon, halos lahat, usok talaga. Republic Act No. 11697 or the Electric Vehicle Industry Development Act or EVIDA is the national policy framework for the advancement of the country's electric vehicle industry. EVIDA enhances energy security through fuel diversification, reduction of imported fuel for transport, enables the development of the EV industry, promotes cleaner and energy-efficient transport, and job generation. EVIDA covers the manufacture, assembly, importation, construction, installation, maintenance, trade and utilization, research and development, and the regulation of EVs, charging stations and related equipment, parts and components, batteries, and related support infrastructures. EVIDA contributes to energy efficiency and conservation through the transformation of the transportation system. This will be through the shift from internal combustion engines to EVs with its energy efficiency and environmental benefits. We believe that electric vehicles are the future. This is where the direction of the transportation industry is going and the best application for electric vehicles is public transport. The biggest difference when operating a conventional mode of transport to, to e-vehicles is really the daily cost. And it's not just fuel or energy. When we look at EVs, we have to look at it as a total solution. First thing is there's less emissions. Second is the per kilometer cost is a lot lower. We believe it, it's a lot more sustainable because maintaining the vehicle does not require fossil fuels either. I think it's our responsibility to the future generations that we have to look at sustainable solutions because we're only here temporarily on this world and we are, we are stewards and we are caretakers for the next generation. So if we do not do it today, then we're just passing on the problems to our children and future generations. Soon, more electric vehicles will be on the road, opening up a way forward for cleaner and more energy efficient transportation. change is making various sectors rethink how they consume and conserve energy. The Department of Energy itself is not leaving any stone unturned when it comes to the growing concern about global warming. Energiang atin is a campaign for us to have ownership in our behavior because we also own our energy resources. And in utilizing the same, we just have to be wise so that we have more money and we also conserve and save our planet. What's next for energy efficiency in the Philippines? It's really part of the overall conversation through our nationally determined contributions, improvements in terms of the energy intensity that translates to lower greenhouse gas emissions. What you can expect from the Department of Energy is a more aggressive push for the implementation of the EEC Act and its various components. EEC law is just one of the steps for us to be a more competitive and sustainable society. We want the electric vehicles to be introduced and to penetrate the market at a higher level. We are introducing the green building code that looks into the building envelope. And number three, we have to train the people. Officers, energy officers ang tawag natin. Sa higher level, we have the energy manager. And sa higher level ulit that we'll check no, is the energy auditor. And lastly, we have to introduce this to the academy. 
we have to teach energy efficiency engineering and introduce the same in the grade school, high school, or even in the college curriculum. Kami dito sa Department of Energy, ang sinasabi natin para magkaroon ng mas maliwanag na future ang ating next generation, eh, we have to provide more secure energy. If we combine all these mga practices na to, hindi natin naaabuso yung resources natin. That is why the implementation of the Energy Efficiency and Conservation Law at yung iba pang batas para magkaroon tayo ng secure na energy, ay eh dapat judicious ang paggamit, hindi wasteful. The time to innovate and embrace energy-efficient technologies, architectures, and operations is now. The DOE hopes that the new energy efficiency and conservation law will give everyone a sense of responsibility to manage our resources for a more energy efficient future.